Welcome back. We're going to be starting the lightning talk session now. Um, so first off, we have Tigram Sloyan, and he'll kick it off for us. Cool. Hey, guys. Uh, so my name is Tigran. I'm the co-founder of a company called Code Fights. And it's obviously a Meteor app. So I'm here to tell you sort of how we came up with the idea and how we ended up using Meteor. So uh, about eight years ago, so one of my co-founders and I were doing international math and programming competitions. And it was a lot of fun, right? It was so much fun for us that we ended up doing it over and over again for a couple of years, 24-7. And we, we got really good at it. And that idea of having fun for like all day long, but at the same time, practicing and learning a skill that helps you in your life, like math and coding, was very powerful to us. So we said, why, why doesn't, can't it be more democratized, right? Why does it have to be limited to those Olympiad kids who make it that far, who get the kick out of you know, doing something they love, doing something they have fun with, but at the same time, learning? So making learning fun, that like combine, playing while learning and learning while playing, is what, what we wanted to change. So. A couple of years down the line, when we got out in the real world and things weren't as much fun and as competitive as they used to be, uh, we came up with the idea for math fights. So the basic premise was that you could uh, build an online app, like a real-time app, real-time, it's a keyword here, that matches you up against somebody else in the world, and then both of you solve a math challenge or a programming challenge with code fights. And then you get ranked up, like in chess. You start at a certain rating, you get to level up, so you're having fun, but at the same time, you're learning something. And we did that, right? And the idea, I had this idea in 2011, and then in 2012, I was like, this idea is just not letting me go, I'm gonna build this. My co-founder and I started looking for some, something that we could use to build this. The first try was, PHP, and it was a horrible failure that like a, a month of spending with trying to build a real-time app, we were like, oh my god, this is getting out of hand, you know, this is not, not as much fun as we would like it to be. And then in, it's, it was around a couple of months later when I saw on Hacker News, I saw Meteor, and I was blown away. I was like, holy shit, so like we have an app, we have a framework that, that's real-time by default. Like, you just, there's just no, no other way, right? I mean, there is sort of another way, but it starts real time. It's like, this is it. I don't care if it's 0 0.01, v0.01. I don't care if it's, you know, a huge bet. We're going to use this to build math fights. And we did. It took us a couple of months. It took a lot of convincing me, convincing my co-founder. He wasn't as risky as I was. I was, I was like, dude. Trust me, I've seen the Meteor team. I know they're going to deliver a kick-ass framework, so let's just stick with it. And it was the best decision we've made, right? Uh, in a couple of months, we've built MathFights, we released it. It got to several thousand users. And then a year later, in 2014, August 2014, we launched CodeFights. And it, like, we just, we're, with Meteor, besides building a real-time app, we were able to keep our code so simple, like launching a new app every year. And I think a lot of people underestimate the power of simplicity, right? Once you add a lot of complexity into your app, it, makes, it becomes so difficult to like, iterate on it. Or, like Every time you need to change something, 50 other things break. With Meteor, we have been essentially been able to keep it like, very, very simple. And now iterating and adding a new feature takes us a week. Like It took us a week to add a forum feature. Doing it everywhere else would be like, oh my god, we have to change 500 things and 600 things are going to break by the time we get there. OK, enough talking. I actually wanted to show you a demo of how that thing works. And so here is, here is a demo of code fights. OK, so you land on a feed, right? Uh, you have a code fights button. When you press the code fights button, you basically everyone on the side sees that you're looking for an opponent to do a code fight with. So there, Mike, that's my one of my co-founders. He just joined. It tells you the rules. It says three rounds. In each round, you're going to get a piece of code that's going to have one logic bug on one line of the code. And your challenge is to essentially fix the bug and win the round. So there you go. Round one starts. We have a piece of code. It says case unification. So you're going to get a string that's going to have some uppercase characters, some lowercase characters. And your challenge is to, if there are more uppercase, make everything uppercase. If there are 
more lowercase characters make everything lowercase. And I am trying to solve this, trying to find where the bug is. Maybe you guys already spotted it. But I actually failed to do it. I wins this round. I remember that. Now, you can also run it. We've built a secure Docker system that it's, it's not, this, that's probably the only thing on Codefights that's not done using Meteor. It's like a separate server service built with Docker that runs, executes the code securely and returns you the results. And there, so he got 75. When you use one of your runs, you actually, like the most amount of points you can earn per round is 100. But if you keep using your runs to try to figure out how it works, your, the points you earn keeps on going down and down. And if you mess it up, you get minus 25. So right now, he messed up the second round. I got, uh, I got the second round. So it's 75 against 50. And he couldn't solve the third round, so I won. Doesn't happen too much. You'll see in the overview that he kicks my ass way more. So <laughs> it's 18 to 8 wins. But that's essentially the idea. And then you can review and see what you got wrong, what you did well, what you missed. Right. Out of time. Thank you. <laughs> Cool. Questions, questions, questions. Here you go. Yeah. Is everyone doing the same? Code yes, excellent question. So essentially what we have done is uh, the challenges we've created. Oh, actually, let me repeat the question. So is everyone you seeing the same challenge? So when you're code fighting against somebody else, are they seeing a different challenge? And you're seeing the same one. So we've generated all the content in-house so far that we're starting to crowdsource it. And we've translated it into multiple different languages, but we've kept it all consistent. So I might be, I think I was using, both of us were using JavaScript, but you could be doing C++ and I could be doing JavaScript, we'll be still be seeing the same uh, challenge. And it's, I mean, it's, the, it's also built the media where it's actually subscribed, like you subscribe to a fight, and then in real time you see what's happening, you see the changes appear. Cool? We had time for one question, yeah, so thanks. thank you guys. Thank you so much.